today I'll briefly talk about a really important term, but uh, it's not necessarily always included in the key concept or list of terms used in post-colonial studies. But I think it could be quite useful for scholars and students of post-colonial studies. And the term is allochronic discourse or allochronic time. And I had written an entry for a book put together by Jeffrey DeLeo and its Bloomsbury Handbook for Literary and Cultural Theory. I'll post a link in the description for that. And I thought I should share what I actually had written because uh, I think it could be a really useful term for anyone who wants to work on how within the colonial space and even within the post-colonial world, time is experienced and represented differently. Now, the term itself was coined by uh, Johannes Fabian in his wonderful work called The Time and the Other. This was a groundbreaking work in the field of anthropology. And what he suggested there was that for him, allochronism originally referred to the practices, of course, in the field of anthropology, though, of course, it can be expanded very easily to apply to other cultural studies fields like post-colonial studies. So Fabian first points out that a major flaw in Western anthropological studies is a denial of co evolence or co evilness right, which he terms allochronism. So under which not only the European studying subject observes his or her study objects, right, non-European others, not only do they study them in a different colonized space, but that in this act of observation, while both ethnographer and his study object, the native, are within the same time, right? It's happening in the present. The ethnographer renders the object of study as if existing in another past time. And in the process, stabilizing the present of Europe itself, because while they're talking or while he's observing, he or she is observing the, the object of study, a culture in Africa or elsewhere in the present times, the way it's rendered is is that the present of Europe is seen as the standard and against which people that this person is studying right at this moment are already placed in a past time, as if they exist in this other time zone. And you can see the relation between this aspect within anthropology and what I talked about in Orientalism, because the main thrust of the Orientalist discourse was also to study the Orient or the Middle East or the colonies and to place them in this unchanging time. So allochronic discourse thus can be a kind of discourse that takes the European temporality as the present and contemporary and then posits people from the global periphery uh, as those existing in a different and unchanging time. Now, this is pretty similar to, as I said, Said's Orientalism. So what ends up, so within anthropology, where Fabian's argument was that the anthropologists, the European American anthropologists need to be aware of that, right? For us in post-colonial studies, knowing that, knowing the term itself, allochronic discourse, then we can use it as a, as a revolutionary sort of vocabulary to point to any work or any text that we are reading and that does that, that places the native cultures or the post-colonial nations or subcultures within it in a different, unchanging, immutable time zone, especially when the things being represented in film or in a novel are in the present. So any time in a Euro-American text, a place and its people are represented as if they exist in another time, in a past time, even though their lives are being covered or written about or represented in the present time, that is being accomplished through what Johannes Fabian's 
calls the allochronic discourse or allochronic time. So this was my brief take on it. Um, let's just conclude. Allochronic discourse is the discourse within which the European studying subject, scholar, writer, studies his or her object of study, which is usually somewhere in Africa, somewhere in the post colonies. And in the process of doing so, even though he or she is representing this post colonial subject or culture in the present time, the discourse, the way that object of study is captured places that object of study, people or post colonial cultures in a different time zone as if they exist in the past or in a time which is not the present. What this also privileges is the present of Euro America is privileged as the only temporality within which world exists and everything else then is measured against it. So these are some of uh, my thoughts on allochronic discourse. I highly recommend the Bloomsbury Companion to Literary and Cultural Theory, and I'll post a link to that uh, in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, anything you would like me to cover, please post them in the comment section. And I'm deeply grateful that you all have joined me here, and I will see you next time. Thank you.